Alrighty, welcome back to Video Back, because um, I got this suggestion in a video where uh, they suggested that I went and actually went over what's the best, you know, set of barracks. So I'm going to go over a couple of things. They're all pretty good, but I will, but you can probably already tell what the best one is, because that's what I have. But I will go over some other things just in case, because I know that it is not exactly per easy to get. But, so what I will start is if you're like early in the game you know you know you aren't the best at the game you're you're you know you're okay you're good but you're not very good i'd really just work on getting a few bows in a sword barrack and then i'd replace all the bows because sometimes the okay i did realize one thing the bows if you come over here like if we go to one of these golems so they're you know they have health i'm not gonna attack him because i'm gonna one shot him like that but as you can see that he okay i, I was trying to at least have him, yeah you can see his attack it's really short the archers have a certain distance between the golem and how like you know how far they need to actually like, where they stand so they always stay out of the golems reach so you pretty much they're always shooting so will you go through the first couple areas with the golems they're very very helpful just having a few barracks so when i grinded i had three archers and the rest were you know the normal sword guys just the sword barracks and then of course you want to work your way on to getting only like sword master barracks because there's really that's all yeah that's really what you want to do is just get to all the sword master barracks and then level them up but there is uh, another thing that you could add like one two three i suggest if you want to do this way i suggest only having one or two of them but it is actually with the snowballer barracks so if we come to the shop here that was really the wrong way to go is this even where they're at that is not i'm looking wait yeah, event items. Santa pad belts there. Snowballer barrack. This thing, it's interesting because if you go it because the snowballer actually randomly summons boosts. So you can get a 20% damage boost for like a couple seconds. You can get a heal boost, which is pretty much like a heal power, but it happens more often in a little worse rage ability that happens also more often, which is quite nice. But um you could really go either way. Uh, the boosts are kind of nice, but if you're someone that isn't good or it's difficult to grab the boost, because with multiple bosses, definitely like the Santa zombie, you really don't have the chance to grab them as much as you would like. So that's kind of why I decided to remove my one from my last video and go all sword bear or sword masters. So this is what I suggest doing all sword masters. But if you're someone that is like skilled, unlike me, and can actually you know get those presents, then I do suggest having one or two snowballers because those boosts can be really helpful into keeping your all your rest of your units alive plus you know they're actually not that bad for damage by themselves so it's not that bad of a unit at all so pretty much to end off this video i suggest either putting eight sword masters in one snowballer or doing all just nine sword masters because those are probably the best two things and it all kind of just depends on what you would like to do but yeah that's really gonna be it for today's video if you guys do enjoy make sure you smash the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell. See you in the next video. I'll see you guys on one. Peace out, guys.